session and training session SVT and the Tapoka that stands there. <laughs> um, yes, the objective, the idea was to bring um, together LIS students with IFLA professionals and help the students find their way through IFLA. Between August 2009 and today, August 2012, we had more than 70 adopters, established professionals from working in the different IFLA sections, more than 60 LIS students that come from 14 countries, um, and in the last couple of years, more than 80% of the new student IFLA members came through this, this program. As I said, the goal was to draw the library and information students into IFLA um, by sponsoring one year membership, membership by, the by the adopting professional or the adopting section and in this way to, go, um, to make the student active in the different IFLA activities. This, this type of connection has many, of course, many advantages. Um, by involve, involving LIS students to, into IFLA issues, it means that new and innovative forms of knowledge sharing, working in collaborations across, across generations, um, online and on-site, like today on the conference, we pay a new generation of LIS students to take leadership position and encouraging, encouraging them to take taking over management positions in the future. And last but not least, also um, offering the experience and establishing information professionals with fresh and sometimes even more points of view. Now, currently to 2013, there is a slight change in the program. It will be called Adopt a Student to Point zero. Um, in this change, we try to make the program to bring the students to be more active in IFLA. When applicants apply, they should also mention a section which is, which, for which they are interested or a current or future project that would, they would like to work. And then also a section, it doesn't have to be a person, can adopt a student and then um, implement the student into the activities or the project. Um, yes, so I think I will wrap up so we can discuss more in the panel.